Okay, so today is August 31st. Um, 2021, 2.33 p.m. <laughs> Crazy experience. So, I wake up in the morning around 4 o'clock and I'm interceding. And after I do my reading and I'm told to pray in tongues until I fall asleep. So, I pray in tongues until I fall asleep. And I have a crazy dream. And then I wake up, drop my son off at school. And well, I woke up to a text message from a friend who was having car trouble. And he was trying to get help with it. And I'm on this thing now where I'm not forcing my help on folks just doing what God tells me to do and that's the thing what God tells me to do so I uh, he's locked out get somebody to come unlock the door the battery's dead and he can't go to work or what have you and he says he's gonna work it out so I'm like, okay fine um, drop my son off keep rolling and as I get closer to the exit for the, for my job it's just something on me real hard press just go help him out and I'm like okay alright so I go to help him out and cause he he's, he doesn't think we are going to be able to access his battery how his car is turned in and I got four wheel drive so I pulled up beside his car in the, in the grass got long jumper cables so jumped them off and I, before I leave I, I don't have much to say to him um, he was outside when I came to his house or whatever and I went over there and he was already standing outside and you know, I see how to get up beside it. So anyway, we jumped his car off and he surprised in a good way. And before I leave, I tell him, you have little faith. And yesterday, I, well, so I had a flashback on yesterday. I was on this very steep roof. I mean, like, like that, right? And cleaning the gutters out or what have you and no I didn't walk on this part um, but I got a ladder you know going around it and I did do a part of that I did go on a part of that and cleaning the valleys off or whatever but I had to put a ladder on the roof to access the ladder on the porch roof to access the top roof which was kind of concerning because it could slip and then once that slips, I got a free fall onto the porch, which could cause another fall depending on how I land. So, you know, God was telling me, oh, so, but you was a little fake yesterday because you think you was going to fall. Whether God said that or not, that's how it rang in my ears. But further, he was like, it, it just, and then it, it was another flashback to some other things God was telling me about. It was like, you know, I told you to go this path and I told you to do this. So now are you going to believe me? Are you going to just do what I told you to do? And I'm like, yeah, because I could have really fell off that roof like majorly and been like really hurt matter of fact holding that 40 foot ladder i could have hurt my back and he's like i protected you from all of that so it's like are you gonna believe me and when god is dealing with you in one of the most broken areas that you have and it's kind of like moses was timid 
And I'm sorry, I'm looking at this guy berate this lady and they both look homeless or whatever. And it's just like, you know what? At the very least, sidebar, I'm gonna get back to what I was saying, sidebar. But it's like, at the very least, people reserve, deserve their dignity. And a lot of people don't know how to do anything outside of the abuse that they received. Often the abused become abusers. Often victims become victimizers. Especially with people whom they feel they can get away with it. Yes, yeah, a lady. And I'm just like, at some point, realize that you don't have to break what's already broken. You don't have to keep shattering broken pieces into shards and dust. Okay, so back to what I was talking about. So when God takes you to an area where you're broken and he tries to heal you, it reminded me of Moses who was a timid man and stuttered. And God used him to speak and to stand up and people saw God through him and caused a lot of people to believe. So I recognize God is using me in my area of brokenness and I'll be candid about it broken broken from you know relationships and just feeling safe to move forward like really safe like it to the point where it's like it doesn't matter you know somebody leave me again it doesn't matter because i know i'm doing my part now I, I know i'm doing my part now not perfect but i'm doing my part and so all this is going on in my head and i'm like okay lord loud and clear I believe, I receive, I hear you. You just dropping another nugget in my spirit to say, hey, I got you in that area. And I haven't really been as I'm trying to find a word. Anyway, instead of trying to sound super deep and educated and pontificate, I just said, I, I'm just going to say, I heard God depositing in my spirit that, hey, it's, it's okay to move forward. I got you. I'm holding your hand. I understand you don't see everything, but I'm holding your hand in this journey. I got you. No worries. I got you. So I leave. And I'm headed to work. I'm stopped in traffic. Just like this. Boom. Hey, like, what the? Get hit from behind. And I'm like, God. So I'm like, it ain't my fault. I'm stopped. I'm stopped in the expressway. I ain't did nothing. <laughs> I'm in my lane. <laughs> And I don't even know what happened. I can't even explain what happened. So I pull over and I look back and this car is like total. Oh my God. This car is so total. <sighs> they hit me from behind. And it was wild because there were, it was a youth minister who hit me from behind. There was another guy that pulled over who something happened with it. I don't know with his car. Long story short, there was a hit and run that hit the car that hit me and caused the ramifications with the other two cars. So I was just like, this is crazy. And the lady 
stood out of the sunroof. So I'm just like, okay, so I'm walking back and the guy who pulled over beside me is walking back to see if we can get her out of the car. And then somebody behind her pulls up, opens the door, she gets out. The airbags have deployed on all over the car, all over the car. So she's standing up on the side. I'm like, okay, cool. I don't know if this person is upset or whatever. And long story short, I see the, I hear distractions, distractions, distractions have come to try and make you lose traction on where you're going. And the officers, two female officers, very friendly and cordial and supportive. The hero units come out, clean up. They're like, nobody gets a ticket. It was a hit and run, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, as long as I'm not at fault, that's all I want to know. I am not at fault. And glad that everybody was able to walk away. Everybody went to urgent care afterwards. Uh, and urgent care does not take accident. Some urgent cares do not take accident. Uh, whatever I'm trying to say. I got referred to go somewhere else, but okay. So I'm just thankful that. And oh, oh my God. So when I got in my truck this morning, my seat was misaligned so my dad holds his seat like very upright in there so i'm like okay i'm gonna have the perfect posture today i'm gonna put the um put the um put the seat upright you know make sure i got perfect posture or whatever and i'm just like that one number the holy spirit that one number god because i was like saying my confessions of the angels i give you charge over me and like lord lead me guide me and it's my daily confession look you know god guide me you know take control over my life and i'm just like man if i was slouched back a little bit my back could have been probably jarred a little bit more than it was and i was just like man this is so good just crazy no it's not crazy it was believable it was thank you god it was you know, i mean i'm able to drive away able to get my truck fixed just a whole lot of stuff just thank you thank you thank you i'm able to get these things done so in doing what God tells you to do. Sometimes the enemy tries to distract you. And that accident was a distraction to feel like I was not doing what God told me to do. Which related to other things going on that distract me from feeling like I am walking in faith. Whether on jobs or relationship or dealing with my kids whatever it's just like the enemy does his job don't but we got to keep doing our job and i just say you know what i'm good i'm good where i am i'm really good where i am so just because things happen it don't mean you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing just know when increase comes, increase comes. It's not the more money, but the more problems, but the more harvest, the more, thank you, Lord, for prosperity, be invitation, purpose, discernment, wisdom. The more, The more harvest comes, the, the the more weeds gonna be in that harvest too. And you gotta get rid of the weeds. And you gotta protect the garden of your mind. 
happiness is really peace happiness is really peace It's crazy how these calls keep coming up while I'm trying to do a video. Especially when it's a scam. <sighs> distractions. So I must have said something powerful for the distractions to keep coming. Anywho, God bless you. God keep you. And when the distractions come, just say, you know what? Shoot fly. Don't bother me. Get away. Just like that. Just have the attitude with it. Scatter it. Get rid of it. You are blessed to be a blessing. You are blessed and highly favored. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Peace, prosperity, uh, peace, prosperity, protection, purpose, discernment, wisdom be on you all day, every day. God guides you. God keep you. God protects you. Your body works into perfection. God created it to work spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. You produce wealth. Your body is in perfect health. You are blessed to be a blessing. Go bless somebody. Bless yourself. Take that breath. Exhale. Cast your care on God. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. Everything has its season. Reason. Time. Period. Enjoy what you have enjoy what you have and when you don't do what God tells you to do know that stuff can really happen on the negative anyway you take care bye